All right, so we did get a lot of news today for Amonkhet. Um, uh, now, first and foremost, what's what's going to be new to Amonkhet is what's known as a punch card, and it's going to be a perforated um, like token card or the little ad card at the end of the pack, uh, and it's going to have little uh, counters or reminders that you can actually perforate and punch out. And they're going to be for the new uh, keywords that we're going to see in Amonkhet as well as the minus one minus one counters that, that I correctly predicted. Uh, we all kind of knew about obviously from the Liliana spoil and uh, brick counters. Um, and the two keywords that we're going to have on the punched card are embalmed and exerted. And I'll go over uh, what those two keywords mean uh, later on. But um, I just feel like this is a lot of uh, garbage we're going to have uh, floating around. I don't like little pieces of paper and extra stuff that I have to keep with me with my magic card. So probably not going to be using these. Although for some younger players and other players, they might be really excited to have this or um, actually use it. So we'll get into the actual cards that were spoiled today. First and foremost, the BioBox promo was officially spoiled, Archfiend of Ifnir. It's a three generic, two black, so five converted mana cost, five four flying demon. And we get to see that cycling is in Amonkhet. So whenever uh, you cycle this or discard another card, if it's on the battlefield, well, well, Archfiend is on the battlefield. Whenever you cycle or discard another card, um, you would place a minus one, minus one counter on each creature your opponents control which is pretty strong but at five mana five four not quite sure if that'll really make standard uh, it, it might i'm not going to really speculate too much because we don't know the full set um and it's always very kind of hard figuring out which cards are going to be the cards to go after uh and then a cycling of two so two generic mana discard it draw a card um so cycling is a very popular mechanic currently and modern with Street Wraith and the Death Shadow uh, deck. So, um, you know, you, you, you pay a cost usually with life or mana to discard it to draw an extra card. So cycling could be very, very powerful. Also, uh, with a cycled card, it's going to fill the graveyard. And Amonkhet seems to have a lot of um, quote-unquote love for the graveyard. So we better get some graveyard hate coming up here with Amonkhet. Uh, as to the brick counters, um, the first card that was spoiled that will utilize the brick counters was Oracle's Vault, a four mana artifact, two generic mana tap, exile the top card of your library. Until the end of turn, you may play that card. Place a brick counter on Oracle's Vault. And then it has tap, exile the top card of your library. Until the end of turn, you may play that card without paying its mana cost. Activate this ability only if there are three or more brick counters on Oracle's Vault. So you have to activate its first effect up to three times before the second part becomes relevant. Now with the first part, you do have to pay the two mana, tap it, exile the top card, and then pay that top card's converted mana cost uh, each time uh, that you do the, the first part to get the brick counter uh, to get that extra free card. So um, not... Two sold on this card being great. Uh, I, I personally don't think that that's relevant. It, it's just too much of a mana sink to be relevant. And there's a lot of easy artifact hate that can really get rid of this uh, for the mana that it costs in the investment you have to make on it. So uh, not too particularly happy with this artifact rare. Next were the game day uncommon and top eight rares. The full art uh, cards were spoiled. So... We'll start with the Uncommon, and this touches on one of the first keywords of the set, which would be True Heart Duelist, which is a 2-mana, two 2-2, two, two, uh, one colorless, one white, uh, human warrior. True Heart Duelist can block an additional creature each combat, uh, and it has Embalm, which is 2 generic, one white. And what Embalm does, Embalm is an activated ability you can activate if the creature card with Embalm is in your graveyard. Notably, you're not casting the card from the graveyard, so things that counter spells won't work against the Embalm ability. Uh, the original creature spell can't be countered, of course, uh, but that just places it in the graveyard. So, 
Uh, to activate the Embalm abilities, you simply pay the Embalm cost and exile that card. Uh, you can do this anytime you can cast a sorcery, meaning during your main phase when nothing else is happening. So, uh, when the ability resolves, you will create a token copy of that card, and uh, you know it's it's basically coming back from the dead is is what they're getting at. So it's a zombie in addition to whatever other creature types it used to have. Um, now, it doesn't have a mana cost, uh, and it doesn't disappear. Uh, at the end of the turn, like normal cards that would return uh, back from the graveyard would. So it basically comes back as a zombie of itself uh, and is there until dealt with. So, And each card that does have Embalm will have its very own token card to come back with. So, uh, for example, the True Heart Duelist. Here is the True Heart Duelist token card. It's a token creature, zombie, 2-2, two -two. And it still has the same effect that the Duelist has, where it can block an additional creature each combat. So, interesting. Uh, that's probably going to be very, very good on whatever rares and or mythics happen to have Embalm. Uh, I can foresee that being extremely good. If you thought Scrap Heap Scrounger was annoying because it could come back, Embalm is going to be very, very annoying. So, we'll wait and see... Uh, what gets embalmed so far? White has embalm. Uh, I would imagine probably black would have embalm. Now the other game day promo, the top eight spoiler, is a five mana four four red dragon, um, and it has flying haste, and you may exert it, and uh, it, it's glory bringer, and exert. I'll go over in just a moment. So you may exert Glory Bringer as it attacks. When you do, it deals 4 damage to target non-dragon creature and opponent controls. Now, before I knew exactly what Exert did, this card was absolutely insane. A 5 mana 4-4 four, four flyer with haste that can shoot a non-dragon creature for 4. That is absolutely ridiculous. However, we got to find out what Exert means. And Exert will let you activate that effect. However, during your next untap step, uh, the creature with exert, if you did exert it, does not untap. So uh, that's where the drawback is. Again, Glory Bringer at first was just absolutely insane and busted beyond all belief until we found out what exert actually meant. And upon further review, it's still pretty good, but I don't think that's that great. Who really knows? Um, you know, it, it's going to really be up to the, you know, the Pro Tours and the Grand Prix to really figure out if Exert is actually just really, really annoying. And if that's enough to just get it over the top, being a, a five mana, four, four flyer with haste that can shoot something down, even if you don't get to do it next turn, that could be, you know, all you need in one turn to just finish your opponent off. So who really knows? In addition to the two game day cards being spoiled the full art cards we did get the game day play mat uh personally i think it's absolutely hideous um i normally like the game day play mats they're usually really awesome this is awful uh it's just a generic zombie looking sort of egyptian looking a peon or something um kind of being tortured and then it reads the words worthy champion now we all know nicol bolas is going to be in the set so it's actually rather shocking that the game day play mat is not nicol bolas that's just kind of disappointing uh and i'm sure a lot of people will also be disappointed uh that their game day play mat won't be magic's greatest villain uh you know so kind of upset with that now with the release of Amonkhet are also coming back the welcome decks which are 30 card decks focused on more simple gameplay and there's one for each color and they'll all be standard legal all the cards inside the decks will be standard legal for as long as the Amonkhet set is so uh they spoiled which ones were the Amonkhet cards for white the only new card that isn't a reprint with new art is graceful cat uh two generic one white so three mana two two Whenever Graceful Cat attacks, it gets plus one, plus one till the end of turn. So, not that 
you know, it's not going to make or break uh, standard for blue. The new one is Angler Drake, which is for generic two blue. So a total cost and cast of six, four, four flyer. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, you may return target creature to its owner's hand. Again, not that impressive. Uh, for black, we did have three uh, that are coming brand new with Amonkhet. The first being Cursed Minotaur, which is a three mana, three, two with Menace, two generic, one black. Dune Beetle. Uh, which is a two mana one four no effect uh, just one generic one black and the third one for black is the tattered mummy which is a two mana one two when tattered mummy dies each opponent loses two life the art on tattered mummy is absolutely phenomenal it looks great uh, really feels egyptian so the red welcome deck saw the introduction of hyena pack which is a four mana two generic two red three four uh, basic vanilla creature nothing too exciting there and with green we get sixth sense and sixth sense is a one mana enchantment uh, when the enchanted creature uh, becomes enchanted with sixth sense it has whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player you may draw a card so that's what we got for the new Amonkhet cards Again, reprints just got updated Amonkhet art. And then we also found out that Amonkhet will, in fact, have the lottery cards. They will be known as invocations. I've had a little time to kind of digest and, and really look them over. Uh, and personally, I think they look just absolutely awful. Um, they are gross. I mean, I, I really can't um, think of any other way to put it. It's... They are quite literally impossible to read the, the names and the um, subtype of the card, you know, whether it's a creature or a sorcery or instant artifact, whatever it, it may be. Um, that font is impossible to read. As a matter of fact, upon uh, even looking at these cards, I didn't even realize that it was legible or in English. Uh, also, the color, the converted mana cost, uh, is the same faded gold as a uh, gold brown as the background of the card so it just completely gets lost in it um, I don't know I don't like them at all uh, but here they are uh, as to what we have currently of course throughout um, today and uh, tomorrow we will have the full uh, invocation spoiler Barring any of the ones that will be actually in Amonkhet, like how the Gear Hulks, how the Gear Hulks were uh, in Kaladesh and they were also uh, part of the masterpiece. So, uh, whatever will be in Amonkhet will not be spoiled as an invocation. They won't spoil the invocation artwork of it until I would assume that card has been spoiled in the Amonkhet set. So, let's just jump right into these hideous invocations. It looks like uh, Wizards. Um, ripped a, a page right out of Yu-Gi-Oh's book and and even their their Pokemon. I know that Wizards prints the Pokemon cards. Um, definitely looks like they use some of the fonting for the some of the formatting uh, from how they make those cards uh, to do this. Um, let's just jump right into these disgusting looking things. It it really looks like they went flavor over function for this set for these invocations. All right, so we should have known way back when we saw these full art lands uh, that that was going to be the common theme from Wizards is just absolutely disgusting looking stuff. So uh, we'll get into the uh, whatever these invocations. Avon Mind Sensor, Loyal Retainers, Worship, Wrath of God, Consecrated Sphinx, uh, Counterbalance, Counterspell, Cryptic Command, Days? I don't know. I can't even read these. Force of Will. Pact of Negation. Dark Ritual. Mind Twist. Chain Lightning. Maelstrom Pulse. And then the only other one we have out right now is Vindicate. So uh, what really sucks is the fact that some of these cards uh, that are really cool and really popular in Modern aren't going to get a really... A badass outlet for for like a, a, you, how the Kaladesh 
uh, inventions looked or, or how the masterpieces looked. They all looked really sweet and really awesome. And these cards are going to live on in infamy as just looking disgusting. They're um, quote unquote lottery expensive looking uh, counterparts are just going to be hideous and awful. And as soon as I do have the, uh, I would say, misfortune of opening one of these from Amonkhet, I will have no regrets selling it immediately. Uh, just get it out of my sight. So that's all we have currently. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. And I'll talk to you again real soon.